Live from Acadiana, your local news leader, this is KLFY News 10 Morning Rush. The time is now 6.56. Let's get you caught up on today's top stories as you head out the door with the News 10 Morning Rush. Good morning, Acadiana. I'm News 10's Daniel Johnson. Opelousas police are investigating another early morning shooting that happened around 1 this morning. This is an active investigation. We will continue to provide you with details as they become available. Funerals have begun for the 21 victims of last week's school shooting in Uvalde, Texas. Two 10-year-old classmates were buried yesterday. Irene Allen in St. Landry Parish, a school board member, talks about safety measures re-evaluated. Many school campuses have open layouts. He wants to limit the number of ways to get on campus and add a guard at those entrances for extra measure. Police say an elderly woman was killed and two others were injured in a shooting Tuesday at a high school graduation on the campus of Xavier University. Good morning, Katie, and I'm News 10 Rodrika Taylor. Crawley Police Department wants to shine light on youth and guns following last week's shooting at a Crawley apartment complex. A bill looks to create an automatic expungement system for some criminal records. It now heads to the Senate Finance Committee just days before the session is set to end. The legislature is also advancing a bill that would make discrimination based on vaccination status grounds for a civil lawsuit, at least for public universities and government facilities. And it's basically yesterday's weather for today. We're going to be hot and humid, pretty much hot and muggy. And then as we get into the afternoon hours, a round of scattered showers and thunderstorms. Those rain chances will be back up to about 40% with a high temperature today at 92. All right, I know we talked about it earlier, but today is a special day for Sylvia and I. She yes. marks, you tell us about your work oh, anniversary. Okay. Two years today, <laughs> I started here on Pot Spot 2 before I was a reporter working day side. So I switched over to the early morning shift, and I love it so much. Love Pot, love the morning crew. Oh, couldn't we, ask for a better job, seriously. No, we were so happy and lucky to get Sylvia. And when I heard that she was going to be my co anchor, I about lost it. Today marks my five year anniversary here at KLFY, and Friday will be. My last day anchoring POSPA 2, but I'm not leaving Acadiana. I'm not even leaving this building. I will be here just on the sales side, but we just love this crew so much, and uh, we oh, really yeah. believe in what we do here on POS. And just thank you to everybody who makes it run. I know you I don't know. see a lot of the people, but we got a lot of people in the back, a great floor director. Just we're very lucky with the crew that we have here. So I know you get to watch the TV magic every day, but a lot of people make it happen. Yes, and we thank all our viewers. We love y'all. Thanks so much. Have a great morning, guys. We'll see you at noon. Bye. Have a great morning.